Have you ever wanted to feel like a superhero? This guide might make that possible. I'm Konrad from Motion VFX. Welcome and enjoy the video. We start by selecting the part of the video from which we want to extract a segment to animate the jump. Then, we apply M Roto AI to it by dragging it from M extension. We mark the tracking area. In this case, it will be the jumping person. We click track and make sure that no frame has any missing parts in the rotoscope. We select a frame from the video that will serve as the background for our composition. We save it as a PSD file and open it in Photoshop. What we need to do is clean up the frame so that the person is no longer visible. We click on Select, then Subject, and use Generative Fill to remove the object from the scene. After these steps, we save the image and import it into Final Cut. We trim the frame to match the duration of the part of our composition where the actor will be animated. The video segment, in which we use Emroto AI to cut out the character, is placed above our image with a cleaned background. The next step is to animate the cutout character to create the impression that they are falling from the sky and landing on the ground. We do this by animate the position and scale. We make sure that our animation is linear to create a smooth transition between our animation and the character's original movement. Smoothing the animation could create the impression of a lack of fluidity. The next step is to place everything into a single compound clip to make the following steps easier to perform. After placing everything into a compound clip, we use the blade speed tool to speed up the animation segment, giving our composition more dynamism. To add a bit of a blockbuster feel to our animation, we will add a dust impact effect at the moment our actor lands on the ground. We go to M extension and look for a smoke element that fits our composition. After selecting the appropriate element, we need to match it to our composition. In our case, the shot is static, so there's no need to track the smoke element. It's enough to adjust its timing, position, rotation, and scale. To increase realism, we also match the color grading so that it blends well with our original video. After placing our smoke element, we can apply motion blur to our animation using M-Film Look, which can be found in M-Extension. Finally, we place everything into another compound clip, which we will continue working on in the next steps. I think we need even more of a wow effect at the moment our actor lands on the ground. To achieve this, we'll add the quake transition to our composition. We find the spot on the timeline where the landing occurs and use the blade tool to make a cut. We then place the transition at the cut point. To make the composition even more convincing, let's add a handheld effect to give the whole scene subtle movement and the impression that it wasn't shot using a tripod. These kinds of tricks also help give the entire animation a more cohesive look. Finally, as always, we'll use M-Film Look to color grade our video. This time, however, I'll show you how you can easily copy filters from one clip to another. After applying the color grading we like, we select the clip we want to copy the filters from and press the shortcut Command plus C. Then, we select the clip we want to paste the effects onto and use the shortcut Command plus Shift plus V. In the window that appears, we choose the specific filter we want to paste. And that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a subscription and a thumbs up. Cheers!